Is this thing straight? I hope it is. Just trying to make sure our video is straight. Are we good now? I think we're great. Welcome everybody. Happy Sunday. All right, let me tell you what we got going on this morning. So, um, sorry I can't see your comments right now, um, but today what we're gonna be doing, guys, we're gonna be stripping our, of my cabinets. This is my bathroom cabinets, or just how to strip, quick, quick easy way to strip your cabinets. So, um, I have a couple of things that I wanna show you guys. Okay, this is called the Premium Paint and Epoxy Remover. I got this at Lowe's. You wanna make sure that you shake this very well, okay? Make sure that you shake it well. Get yourself a bowl, I have my bowl. Where's my bowl, Lulu? That this bowl will work just fine. Okay. So let me show you some of the things that I have. So I have a putty knife. This is going to be able to help strip everything back. All right. Um, I got this little gadget right here from Amazon. This helps to get all in the crevices to get like you know these little parts right here to pull it off. Okay. I also have a brush if I need to brush it. And then I have my razor. I uh, don't know what happened to that. What's well, here? Anyway, so I'm gonna shake this pretty well, okay? Shake this pretty well so that I can put it in the bowl. Make sure you shake this well before you start using it. I gave that a good shake and we're going to put the product inside here put on your your protective gloves my razor must have flew somewhere Now we're gonna open this up. Maybe I need to move this back so I can make sure y'all see better. How was that? Do y'all see a lot better now? All right, okay. And you're crooked. sometimes let's open this up we're going to pour this glop inside our bowl You know when you smell flies that's that's i was trying to figure what this but you know when um uh when i you know what when a mouse dies and then you finally find it this is what this smells like okay so what i'm gonna do now i'm going to move this here move these gloves right here move everything here until it's time for me to use it i'm gonna take the panel just like this Okay, and then I'm going to start applying the product right on top. 
Okay. You want to apply a thick layer of it on it, and it's going to start. I'm telling you, it's going to start bubbling up. And then I'm going to take my little putty knife to start peeling it back. I got this for like two dollars and ninety-eight cents at Lowe's, right here. Okay, and it came like with three. You want to use plastic. Spread it nice and thick. So we gotta do both sides and everything. But we're gonna work on this side first. Within 15 minutes, this will be ready to go. So we'll sit here while this is um, um, doing its thing. With, just let it work. Don't try to do anything, just let the product work and do what it's supposed to do. Um, I purchased this um, this um, paint remover, epoxy paint remover from Lowe's. It was it it, it was forty it was about forty five dollars. Now when it starts working, you're gonna start noticing it's gonna start turning like jelly. I'm just trying to make a nice thick layer so that when it's time for me, now it's already starting to bubble up. I see it bubbling up. I can pull it back and pull it right on up. Now I've, I've had to do this at least four, three or four times, but I think I got the hang of it now from what I did when I did it yesterday. Okay. There we go. I'll put it around the edges too, why not? Let's just do that and just put it around the edges. I mean, I'm sure other there's other techniques to do, but for me, this was the fastest one for me. I don't want to put no spray on it and have to sit there and wait. I don't have time for that. I need this going like, like right now. All right. There that goes. Let me pull this so I can... See if anybody wrote anything. Good morning. Can Willa let me see? How do I see your comments? Oh, nobody wrote anything. Okay. Well, I thought somebody did. Well, good morning, everybody. What's that there? No. Oh, it says to share it. Where can I share it to? Ooh, let me see where I can share this to. Twitter. Hold on, I'm gonna share this to Facebook, okay? I'll be right back. The link, and I don't know what it did. Copy link, okay, now I can do it then. Good morning, I just saw a comment. Hey Valerie, hey Althea, hey beautiful. Okay, okay, so now, um, so I paid someone to do my, well anyway, someone did my cabinets and instead of him What do you call it? Sanding down the cabinets. He painted right on top of the cabinets. Yeah, I'm looking at mess right now. It's early. It's early in the morning. But anyway, he painted over the cabinets, and they looked horrible. They look horrible. So what I'm doing is stripping it myself, and then I'm gonna fix it myself so it can be done the right way. Okay. So can y'all see? A little bit closer. Sometimes. I'm going to say sometimes things happen for you to have to do it yourself. And then now you figure out what you need to do. And, and, and then it comes out better. And I, that's why I don't really, I mean, I get, I get frustrated. But you know what I always say? You know what? There's a reason for it. There's a reason for it. And I always look at it as, okay, it's a learning curve for me. It's a learning experience for me. And being to the fact Good morning, Sabrina. It's a, a, a learning experience for me. This is gonna in turn help somebody else. So maybe somebody else doesn't have thousands of dollars to or to afford to get someone to paint their cabinets for them. 
and they might see my video and they're like, yo, oh my God, I watched this lady and she was stripping her cabinets. Now I feel I can do it. Now I feel confident to do it myself. And now you don't save yourself thousands of dollars, you know? So that's why I would say no matter, no matter how bad something might look, you just never know if it might just might be working out for your good. So just, you know, just relax. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is the sides right here, I'm gonna put my gloves back on. so y'all can see Ooh just a little bit of pressure this is so much needed from yesterday it was a whole mess yesterday, guys, I'm telling you. I didn't know, and then this morning I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? There has to be an easier way to do this so I don't be making, you know, such a mess. You know? And look, I went and got me this little tool for like $2, different sizes. The guy was gonna give me metal, I said, no, I want plastic. He said, oh, definitely. And I said, yep. Thank you. I was like, thank you, Mr. Mark. So I'm going underneath and pulling it back. I'm pulling it. Pushing it back. And it's okay if it all doesn't come off. That's okay. Just put another layer on it. anybody might benefit from this type of video please share my videos or just share it for me just for my support just support me and my channel I'd appreciate it thank you I'm really enjoying the um I really want to continue to bring you guys good content and you know um things that can be beneficial and helpful because I'm the around the house um way lady I love to do things around my home and I like to do things that's going to help you know save me money too look at this now here's that one now this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the bigger tool okay hey guys please make sure you like this video as well watch watch this watch watch this anybody playing look at that neater from than yesterday I'm telling you I did this on Facebook live yesterday and it was just a big mess and I'm like I don't like that I'm like I gotta find another way to remove this pain off without causing all of this mess good morning sorry I can't touch the camera so because I don't want this stuff to get on my phone but I'll look take this off get this off and then as I do this all I do is apply more knock this off Then what I'm gonna do now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come right back again, right? 
all the little parts that didn't get, that's okay. You just add another layer so we can get the rest of the residue off. Just that simple. Okay, just that simple. Just let that sit and let it do its work. And that wasn't even 15 minutes, right guys? You saw that? It wasn't even 15 minutes. Now I can um, start applying more on the edges so I can get the edges off. So I'm using um, a paint, a paint tarp or whatever you want to call it to put on the table. If you put any plastic, this thing will go like right, right through it. No cheap gloves, none of that. Get you some, go to the dollar store and get you some kitchen gloves. I find that to be very beneficial. And I'm not, and I'm using less product too. Now, since especially now I know how to carry it. I just wish I knew where my razor was. My razor was here, must have flew something. working yo okay let me show you this so we're gonna go right in the corner because I need this little sharp thing here I had something here at home okay I want to get these right here right in the corner so I can get it to, to pull it up now it's not gonna be perfect and that's okay but if I can get the main part of it off Ooh, I'm winning. I'm winning. Look at that, look at that. If you're enjoying this DIY project so far, please make sure you like this video. Everybody that's watching, please make sure you like this video. Thank you. Look at that. See? This didn't take me all day. Sit there and sand in and all the other, you know, extra stuff. Let me pull this off real quick so I can see your comments. Before I even started watching, I sent it to my niece. Oh, thank you, sis. Hey, Luke. Yes, it works on metal too. Thanks, Sabrina. Hi, Willette. Hey, boo. Okay, good, good. I'm so happy that y'all find this helpful, guys. You know, I just want to make sure I just put out some really good stuff. Because I do a lot of stuff. I've, I've missed so many things that y'all could have shared. But, you know, just the whole me doing have to do the camera setup. And by that time, I could have finished my work. So that really would be for me. But if y'all like this kind of stuff, please make sure you like this video. And I will make sure you share it, like it, save it. And make sure your notifications are on for my channel because I will be going live um, more often on YouTube so I can share like my little DIY hacks and stuff and little things I try. So majority of things are always by usually by mistake. It's never like something that I just like, oh, I already knew. No, no. A lot of a lot of the things that I do, like when, it's when it comes to like home improvement or anything like that, it's just trial and error. And I'm like, oh, it works. And then now I feel it works. Then I'm going to come on live and then I'm going to show you guys because you just never know who this might benefit. I'm just trying to clean up before I, you know, pick it up and then flip it all the way over. I just want to be done, kind of just want to be done with this side once I hit to the other side. And then I'm going to clean it down real good. Look at that. Look at 
This gets a little tricky because now it's 3D, right? But it's all good. Get all in the crevices. Laid on nice and thick. And you don't want it to get hard. Because if you if when it gets hard, it's gonna it's, it's not gonna move. You're gonna have to just saturate it again with the product to get it to work. I still got three more of these to do but I want to work on them one at a time because I don't want it to get hard and that's me more so me wasting product and that um, I felt that's what I did yesterday too if I just just took my time and just took care of one and then went to the other I wouldn't have wasted so much product but I bought two just in case so I still got enough to remove all of them Try to get those edges really, really good. Saturate those. Really good. I'm gonna come right here. Well, that's it. I'm gonna work. Yeah, this is gonna not be so easy that I thought. So how you know what's working is when it starts turning into jelly. You start noticing everything starts turning into jelly. And that's exactly what you want. You need to make sure that you're doing this outside. Do not, I repeat, do not do this in, out, out, um, inside of the house. This is also flammable. So please do not do this inside of the house. Well ventilated area, come right outside. Get a table, get a cloth and put this out and put this out here. Okay. Patience, grasshopper, patience. You don't have no patience. Look, my goal is to, to paint and prime this today well at least prime it today not not um not paint it but at least prime it today All right. okay so basically all we have to do is the waiting game for those who hasn't seen the product you can all screenshot this product this is the product that i'm using today it says do not apply to floors or any large area surfaces because fire and health safety risks will increase dramatically. Always wear chemical splash goggles and chemical resistant gloves when handling this product. A dust mask does not provide protection against vapors. Dispose of product within three months of opening. Okay. Yep. So that's that. Get the hang of 
KEMBALI